Well, tonight on the night beat, a chaotic encounter between a San Antonio police officer and a group of people outside a Southwest Side home. And it ends with a man being shocked by a stun gun twice. Here's Dylan Collier. Minutes after the encounter began, Aldaco pulls out his department issued stun gun and deploys it on Aguirre while Aguirre enters the home. Oh my God! One of the man's shoes flies off as you hear his body hit the floor. While Aldaco later wrote he holstered the non lethal weapon and again attempted open hand techniques to take Aguirre into custody, the footage shows the stun gun remained pointed at the man until Aldanco delivered a second charge of electric current. Well, KSET investigates Dylan Collier joins us now. And Dylan, what led up to this incident? So that officer had been dispatched to that part of town searching for uh, a stolen vehicle. He ran the license plate of that truck that was in the driveway and it came back as a match for that police report. Uh, Aguirre, who you saw being uh, hit by that stun gun twice, had gotten out of the truck. The officer attempted to put him into handcuffs. And as you can see, Aguirre uh, did not want to be taken into custody. And Dylan, some witnesses took issue with the officer following the men into the home. What are the SAPD rules about that? So they categorized this as a fresh pursuit, that the officer was actively trying to detain someone he believed was involved in a felony. Unauthorized use of a vehicle is a felony offense in Texas. The officer witnessed this man get out of that vehicle that had just come back as stolen. So that's why you see him go into the home to try and get him into handcuffs. There's that notion out there that, well, if they don't have a warrant and I can get into a home, they're not allowed to come inside. But if they are freshly pursuing you, if they've been attempting to take you into custody when you go into the home, uh, by law in Texas, they are allowed to pursue you into the residence. And that's what you saw here. All right. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah. So, such an interesting story. We look forward to that tonight on the Night Beat. Thank you. Dylan. Well, KSET investigates the stun gun skirmish tonight on the Night Beat again at 10.